Welcome to an ELHT quick video on specimen collection using PowerChart on Cerner. Throughout this video we will demonstrate how to collect specimens on the system for tests that have been ordered. Please ensure you have the correct patient selected. The patient details can be seen in the blue banner at the top of the screen. We've got patient's name, demographic details and we can also see the location of the patient. There are two ways in which you can view specimen collections on the system. The first one is specimen collection button in the toolbar. The second option is collection runs in the drop down. I'm going to show you both options during this video. First of all, we're going to click specimen collection. If you have a scanner available, this will allow you to scan the patient's wristband. For the video, I'm going to select unable to scan. The screen will now display any specimens to be collected. Here we can see we've got a full blood count for the patient and it also displays underneath the colour of the bottle we should be using. Just above this we have the print button. This will allow you to print any labels required for the full blood count. If you would like to reschedule this to be collected on a different time, we can click the reschedule button. We can select a reason from the drop down. Ensure you have selected the correct specimens to apply this to and then we can record a date and time. Once recorded, click apply and then sign. Once a specimen has been collected, we need to notify the system of this. To do this, move to the right hand side of the required specimen, select the drop down and mark this as collected. If we've not managed to collect this on this time, underneath we have got not collected. Now you can see it has appeared with a tick next to the specimen required. Finally, we can sign this off. The specimen has now dropped off the collection list. The collection runs feature is used for patients that are currently in patients on a particular ward. To view this list, select the drop down in the toolbar and we'll click on collection runs. First of all, we need to select the location that we're working on. In the search bar at the top, start by typing the name of the ward and select from the drop down list. Next on the right hand side of the screen, we can change the filters depending on what specimens we wish to see. Once you're happy with this, select View Collections. Here we can see we have two patients on the ward requiring a collection. To record a collection for your particular patient, select the Record Collections button. Again, this allows you to scan the patient's wristband if you have a scanner available. I'm going to select Unable to Scan. And again, as we did before, we can see the collections that are required. Below this, it states the colour of the bottle to be used. And on the right hand side, select the drop down and mark as collected or not collected. We can also see the print button here if we wish to print labels, which is the same as pressing this print button at the top. Once you're happy you've completed everything, down at the bottom we're going to click sign. And again, that's dropped off the list. If you've marked a specimen is collected by mistake, here we can see this one is showing as complete. Again, if I move to the drop down on the right hand side, we can reset this. This will move it back to the original state. We also have another couple of options. We can change the collection method if required. To do this, select collection method and change this in the drop down. Select apply and that has been updated. Again, back in the drop down, if I wish to add a comment against this, it allows you to free type. Again, select apply. And now you can see it displays this little notepad. Hover over this and it displays what's been typed. Back in the drop down menu, if we wish to modify what we've done, select the modify date and time button and we can change the date and time this was collected. Thank you for watching this e-learning video. Further CERNI EPR videos are available on our YouTube channel ELHT IMT Training Team.